Hey everybody and welcome to another HD tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you, um, as you can see by the title, how to customize, um, basically customize a lot of the menus and stuff in Microsoft Word 2007. Now first thing I've got to tell you is that it is Easter today, so happy Easter if you do celebrate it. And um, I was just going to say that I won't be uploading very many videos over the next week because I will be on vacation, visiting people, etc. Um, so yeah, don't look out for any uh, videos basically, but I have a ton of stuff coming in the mail, so there will be a lot more hardware when I come back. So here we go. We, I'm going to maximize Microsoft Word here. And in order to, basically all the customization features are available when you hit the orb and go down here to Word Options. This may have, you may have already known this, and I've changed already my color scheme to black, no big deal. But what we're going to do to customize the actual menus is just go down here to the Customize button. Now you can see here, these five buttons are what I've suggested or what I have told to be in the quick access toolbar and here up here is my actual quick access toolbar so it's very accurate in uh, showing what I've selected and here are all the ones you can add to your quick access toolbar as you can see there are quite a few now if I do end up emailing a lot of attachments to people and I want to just have a quick uh, email quick access uh, button I'll just hover over email and either double click it or just hit the add button so there you can see it is added to the quick, uh, quick toolbar, so I just hit OK, and there you go, there's the layout button. So if I have written something and I want to email it as an attachment, then I can always do that. Now I haven't saved it yet, so I can't, but there you go. Here's another thing I can customize. Let's go back to the orb and word options again, and we're going to go to display. Under display, you can um, basically choose what Microsoft Word displays to show um, to show hidden text, to show paragraph marks, to show spaces, which is kind of annoying, and to show tab characters, etc. And also printing options, which is very helpful. Uh, sometimes I'll be printing on a color printer, or if I'm printing on a uh, laser printer, I want different things. You can uncheck print background colors and images. I will check that because I put them in for a reason, and stuff like that. And the last thing I want to show you is uh, the advanced button. This is where a lot of the most uh, the most uh, subtle customization changes uh, take place. But as you can see, it says at the top, advanced options for working with Word. There are a lot of cool things you can change in here that you may not have known have existed. Uh, cut, copy, and paste different options. And usually when I want to paste uh, between documents, I want to keep the destination Formatting, you may not even know what that means, but there you go. Uh, you might not even have known you can do that with Word. So there's a whole lot of options in here. You can choose a lot of defaults, a lot of uh, a lot of different things that you can basically just mess around with until you get the exact Microsoft Word 2007 that you want to work with. Okay, so I'll just hit OK when I'm done customizing, and that is it. So I do like the black theme. I like a I like what I've done with this. And um, if I ever want to edit this really quickly, I can always go to the drop down and uncheck what I want to get rid of. So that's your basic customization in Microsoft Word. You may not have needed a tutorial on that, but I just felt like showing you guys. So again, I won't be coming out with very many videos this week. However, I will answer emails and answer every question I get. However, it might take a little while. So yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope you like it. Peace.